Welcome everyone, it's the Crypto Lark. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the Block Cloud ICO, advanced blockchain-based IoT connectivity for dynamic networks. We're gonna be getting into that review after a massive thank you to all of you for being part of the cryptocurrency community. Your support makes all the difference. Thank you so much for continuing to watch the videos. And of course, you do have to remember, this is not financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. This is an ICO. Please do your own due diligence for investing your own money because there is no substitute for doing your own research and there is always a certain amount of inherent risk in investing in any ICO. Furthermore, I'd like to point out that this is not a sponsored review, just a project that I think is interesting and you might want some more information about. So what is the problem that Block Cloud wants to solve? Well, they see that the future of the Internet of Things is threatened by the Internet itself. The current infrastructure for the Internet is outdated. We have frail connectivity, poor scalability, trust is largely absent, security is cracked wide open, and the business model of the Internet itself is broken. The trusted third parties of the Internet are turning out to not be so trustworthy. Compile this with the fact that we are expecting 20 billion IoT devices by the year 2022. And you can see we have some problems. So what is the solution? Well, enter Block Cloud, a technological solution to help scale to meet the coming demand for the Internet of Things. Some potential use cases of Block Cloud may include, but are certainly not limited to, Internet of Vehicles, Smart Healthcare, Smart Homes, Smart Cities, Drones, and on and on the list goes. Let's look at the tech underlying Block Cloud. The first part of the puzzle is the SCN, or the Service Centric networking. This is a future internet technology that provides a service-aware network stack where applications communicate directly on service names instead of addresses. This will help move us away from a host-centric paradigm by focusing on these named services to increase scalability, mobility, and robustness. Essentially, SCN provides the tools needed to deploy replicated service instances across the distributed network, helping to direct requests to the nearest instance while optimizing efficiency in terms of usage of the infrastructure. Let's add in blockchain. Why blockchain? Well, blockchain for trustless peer-to-peer -peer transactions and frictionless payments. Thus, of course, incentivizing the sensors, the IoT sensors, to partake in the network and earn crypto. Of course, when you add in that there is no single point of failure, it becomes a very compelling use case. The blockchain will be operating on top of the SCN layer. The SCN essentially forms the underlying physical network that provides the connectivity, the mobility, and the scalability, while the blockchain logically operates on top of the SCN to provide the decentralized trust, security, fairness, and economic incentive. They will be using a proof of service mechanism. This will be verifying the factfulness of services by automatically checking and guaranteeing them and ensuring that the proof of service consensus mechanism operates to verify that. They will also be implementing DAG technology, in particular, a compacted, directed, acyclic graph, what they are calling the CODAG. Mathematically provable system for large-scale and dynamic IoT situations. The flexibility afforded by a DAG is better suited to really recording these transactions between ecosystem participants in a dynamic manner as devices move on 
and offline. There'll be a farther technological innovation called the Truthful Continuous Double Action Mechanism. This is designed for fair distribution of services and to prevent cheating and maximize the social welfare of the whole community. Now, the Truthful Continuous Double Action Mechanism is primarily employed to fairly distribute services matching providers and subscribers automatically on the network via smart contracts in order to prevent cheating, treat the marketplace participants equally, and minimizing trading costs. State machines running in the service layer on Block Cloud will be able to support the smart contract functionality. We will also have the Block Cloud Marketplace. This is open to anyone to publish services which can be subscribed to with token rewards. Also, there will be maintaining public feedback about the quality of services that are offered and with our continuous double action mechanism in place to best exploit the dynamics of free market economics with a balance of the supply and the demand. The block token will be used as a means of transacting value and rewarding participants within the ecosystem. Block rewards will serve providers for contributing to the marketplace, miners for maintaining the ledger, and verifiers for ensuring the quality of service providers. What about the team? Well, the team is a bunch of all-stars, really. First, we have Zhang Jingming. Now, he has served as the CTO of a company called Odman, the parent company behind Block Cloud, with massive industry experience and has been featured in multiple publications and journals. Xu Yang will be the chairman, currently sees, serves as the CEO of Odman, also a published and respected researcher. Other team members are bringing massive experience from having worked in major Chinese tech companies like Alibaba and Tencent. Obviously, it will be good to see a bit more blockchain experience on the team, but I feel like with such a technical team, it won't be a big barrier to overcome. In terms of the advisors, this is a huge list of very well-connected, incredible advisors, which should hopefully make some really great business connections for them after the ICO. The parent company, Odman, is an IoT company currently serving millions of users with a wide range of IoT products, currently generating $15 million in the last year. There has been a very strong interest in Block Cloud from big funds like the Neo Global Capital Fund and Genesis, as well as investment from KuCoin. Could that be a potential listing partner? Time will tell. What about my concerns about Block Cloud? Well, the first is actually about the roadmap. Essentially, we're going to see a lot of technological innovation up until quarter two of 2019, but we're not actually going to see a test net until quarter two of 2019. That's a, that's a really long time in crypto time. So in the intervening year, who knows what could happen? Could somebody that has planned more or has come in with a new implementation potentially move ahead of what Block Cloud is trying to do? Time will tell. This is a new technological implementation bringing together a wide range of interesting pieces to make one complete puzzle, but will it work as planned? Obviously, time will tell. I feel like the team has the, the vision and the experience to pull this off without a doubt, but the proof will be in the pudding. There is a lot of DAG competition Constellation is bringing smart contracts. IOTA is also innovating and going to be bringing in smart contracts soon as well. ITC is a hybrid model. But honestly, I feel like Block Cloud is doing something unique in that they will add value to the DAG blockchain space. But again, the market will decide. The token sale itself, we have 12 million dollars going to private sales but those will be working on an eight month release schedule 
only $3 million will be available for the public. I would have liked to have seen this to be a larger number, honestly. If you do want to get into that, though, I imagine it'll be a quite highly subscribed sale. I would recommend following their social media channels to watch for the whitelist to open. Currently, it seems like that's going to be happening in August sometime. So definitely keep your eyes open for that if you are interested in getting into the sale. One block token will be worth just less than one U.S. cent. In total, we are going to have 10 billion block tokens. Two billion are going up for sale to the public. I would love to see more actually going out for sale to the public. That's only 20% of the total amount of tokens. However, 30% of the tokens will be kept back as mining rewards. So it's kind of opening up half of the tokens to the public. It's just that a large chunk of that will be played out in mining rewards in the coming years. 10% going to the team, 30% going to the foundation. Again, I would like to see that be a lower number for the foundation and more for the public sale. And 10% as an early contributor incentive. Final thoughts on BlockCloud. I feel like there is a lot of opportunity here. IoT is going to be a very hot topic in the coming years, and it's going to be a big driver of the future of our society, of the way that our cars drive, of the way that our toasters make our bagels, and of the way that our homes and our cities operate. Everything will be interconnected, whether you like it or not. DAG Tech is very, very hot right now, and Block Cloud is really bringing in some new ideas and shaking up the way we think of DAGs, and that's pretty exciting. The white paper is very intelligent. Definitely quite the read if you want to go and have a look at that. And there is massive public interest already in Block Cloud, which gives a lot of potential for post ICO gains. Thanks so much for watching the video on Block Cloud. Let me know what you think about Block Cloud and their new innovative DAG tech down below in the comment section. Thumbs up the video, join the conversation over on Twitter. Long live the blockchain or the DAG. And peace out till next time.